How to plant seeds in a modular seed tray. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're at Capel Manor College in Greater London. Head of Horticulture and Landscaping Tom Cole is going to show us how to propagate vegetables from seeds using a modular seed tray. Modular trays are divided into cells which train roots to grow downwards, strengthening them and causing less disruption to a plant when it's transferred outdoors. They're especially good for plants that need to grow individually. Check your seed packet to find out when best to plant. We're going to be planting cabbage seeds. Step 1. You will need some seeds, a modular seed tray, these can be quite flimsy, so it's a good idea to have a carrier tray for the modular tray to fit into. A sieve. Soil. A good proprietary seed sowing and cutting compost is ideal. A watering can with rose attachment. An indelible pen. Plant labels. And a dipper. This isn't essential, but you will find it useful when it comes to making holes for the seeds. We're also going to be using some vermiculite soil to cover the seeds. This lets light filter through and can speed up growing time. However, you can use regular soil instead. All of these are available from your nearest garden centre. Step 2. Fill the cells. Place the modular tray in the carrier tray. Sieve the compost over the top, filling the cells evenly. Use your hands to work the soil into individual cells. Tap the tray to work the soil right into the corners. If this causes gaps to appear on the surface, sprinkle over some more compost and again scrape off any excess with your hand. Step 3. Water. Turn the rose on the watering can upwards. Start running the water at the side of the tray. This will prevent disruption to the soil surface as you water the soil. Pass it over the tray four times, gently sprinkling the soil. Step 4. Sow. Check your seed packet for how deep your seeds should be planted. Our cabbage seeds need to be planted at a depth of about 1cm, so we're using a dipper to make a well of that depth in the middle of each cell. If you don't have a dipper, you could use your finger instead. Shake a few seeds into your hand. Place one seed in each cell. If you have any unused seeds, place them back into the packet to store. They'll keep until the sell by date. Sprinkle a little regular soil or vermiculite soil over each cell to cover the seed. Step 5. Label. Lastly, you should label your seeds. Use an indelible pen to put the date on one side of the label and the seed type on the other. Step 6. Leave to grow. Different seeds require different growing conditions. Check the packet. It's usually somewhere warm and sunny, like a greenhouse or a windowsill. Water regularly. Done.